we would love to share how actually carpet tiles are a great product to um, enhance indoor air quality. And um, though not directly mitigating the damp mold, we know that there is a connection between air quality, indoor air quality and damp mold. So before actually diving into the detail of carpets, uh, carpet tiles and um, air, indoor air quality, we thought that we would highlight that at Uplifted, we are um, a service of installation of carpet tiles, not carpets. So traditional carpet is like the roll, wall to wall. Carpet tiles actually are, as the name says, a tile. And we have been installing them already in properties of many organizations like CCHT, uh, Brumford, Carbon, uh, Raven. We're installing next week at Estlite Community Homes. Um, so we are solely focused on housing associations because we believe actually that it's fantastic for the type of work that housing providers um, uh, face and provide. Um, carpet tiles can be installed while other works are being carried out during the voids period without delaying the voids period. We have experience of carpet tiles being installed while um, literally 10 people were around in the property. Um, they are modular and they are very easy to install in occupied properties as well, as well as furnished properties, obviously, um, because and it doesn't disrupt the daily life of a home after three, four hours. The property is readily unavailable. So we're talking about carpet tiles. And in the topic of air quality, what we believe is important to remind ourselves is that we spend 80 to 90 percent of our time, our time indoors, which means that Definitely air quality, outdoor air quality is super important, but what about indoor air quality? Um, and carpet tiles that we work with come from um, manufacturers with an obsession for air quality, meaning that they have very low VOCs, obviously volatile organic compounds, that it's heavily dependent on the materials, the raw materials they are used, uh, uh, that they are produced with. Um, carpet tiles, opposed to, as opposed to more, mm, mm, you know, common knowledge, uh, they are actually very good for dust because actually carpet tiles capture the dust in the air. Obviously, then we need to have a um, regular cleaning. Um, effort. However, carpet tiles versus traditional hard surfaces are better for air quality because they will capture dust. Um, and last but not least, definitely the carpet tiles that we work with are made of nylon and nylon absorbs up to 10% of its weight in moisture. So low VOCs capturing dust absorbing moisture from the air definitely improves um, the indoor air quality. This doesn't directly mitigate damp and mold, but these are little improvements that will address a bigger, more complex problem that definitely needs um, work on, on, on ventilation and insulation and other interventions. Um, now, indoor air quality, these claims are heavily certified. The, the manufacturers of the products we work with address, get many certifications from the GUI standard, the A+, which is an indoor air quality test in uh, France. It, compliant, it complies with um, LEED, which are um, obviously, certifications of the of, of the built environment, um, the GUI um, standard, which is um, another um, certification body. But in short, the key takeaway is that the claims around indoor air quality, low VOCs, are heavily um, supported by certification measures, and they are the top right of the 
of the um, slide, this is an example from one of the manufacturers where they show in the specification of the products how they comply with all of these certifications. So the question that we want to really close with in our very short and sweet conversations about indoor air quality is how in each of your roles within each of your organizations, you can start a conversation of providing floor coverings internally. We appreciate that this is a change of practice for housing providers, yet how knowing the indoor air quality features of carpetites, how can you start um, in influencing that conversation um, internally?